Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my DIY project of my tub surround tile job. Um, I had to do some framing to get the, the niche where I want it. I'm still finagling with that. And it's okay because the studs behind it um, are not, um, they're not, they're not screwed in. I don't know why I can't speak right now. They're not screwed in, so I can I can move it around and decide which way I want to place this tile. And in my mind, I wanted to place it, just stack it. I just wanted to stack the tile in rows. I don't want to do a subway pattern. It's a lot of cutting, and I don't feel like doing a lot of cutting. <laughs> and I've seen how it looks straight up, or even stacked this way, but I like it stacked this way better than this way. So yeah, I'm just trying to find a happy medium, literally, um, to where it's gonna fit this way, this way, this way, and this way. So my short piece is, is gonna be on the bottom and I'm gonna end up with a full piece on the top. Sound good? Am I missing anything? Oh yeah, I am missing something. So. Because I had to frame all this in, and I'm still working on that, right here, you guys, right there, I'm having to put in these sister studs, literally, they're like sisters and cousins now, because a big family over here, because there's, there's a stud right there, 16 on center to this one, but in order for me to have this, you know, some structure to hold my board and my tile, I have to sister it out. Okay, so like I did that one up there. So there's three two by fours. <laughs> there's the stud, and there's another board, and then there's another two by four, and then there's this one. It sounds like, wow, that's a lot, you know, instead of just putting in one long board, right? But I don't have one long board. This is what I'm working with. So it's totally secure, and it's, it's fine. It's toe nailed up there, and it's all nailed into a secure stud. And it's just not going to go anywhere. So I'm, I'm really pleased with the way it's coming out. Um, I'll, I'm going to put a support right here, of course. I might end up having to put two because uh, you're supposed to have them 16 on center uh, when you're using foam. I don't know how it is for uh, backer board. I think it's the same. I think you just want to go 16 on center. You don't want to go 24. That's crazy. Um, so that's what I'm doing, you guys. All right, um, I'll see you again in my next updated video, and then you'll see um, that I've, I've chosen to rabbit the bottom of my foam board, and that's going to be perfectly fine because these studs are pretty dang straight, so I'm really happy with that. I got, I got lucky, and I don't have to fur them out, so... Yay for me. All right, you guys, uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, peace out.